Tonight, World News investigates Medicare fraud. We have learned that organized crime and foreign gangs are now taking your Medicare money. And here's senior Justice Department correspondent Pierre Thomas. These are Medicare fraud investigators, not the FBI. They used to worry about catching mostly nonviolent offenders. Now they're concerned about something far more deadly. Our folks are out there engaging a criminal element that is dangerous. For gangs, members of the mafia, and other thugs, Medicare fraud is becoming big business. It's so easy to steal from Medicare and Medicaid, it attracts a violent criminal element uh, so they can cash in on their schemes. Crime rings across the country are ripping off taxpayers of millions in Medicare dollars. In California, we see Armenians. In Texas, we see uh, Nigerians, Florida, Cubans. In the Northeast, we'll see Ukrainians and Russians. Here's how it works. They set up fake companies Hello? like this one in Florida, and each can bill the government for equipment and services never delivered. This one Armenian gang in Los Angeles plotted to steal $30 million in Medicare money. In this undercover video, gang members confront an accomplice suspected of skimming their profits. They threaten to kill him. Me and you tonight, it's going to be a war. $200,000 really matters. Police say some of the groups won't hesitate to bribe or threaten to further their scams. Those threats are backed up by high-powered paramilitary weapons. You found these kinds of weapons at Medicare equipment companies? These are 50 caliber sniper rifles. Here we have a, uh, an example of a machine pistol. Um, it actually shoots rifle rounds. In San Francisco, authorities seized dozens of weapons at a medical equipment company operated by a gunrunner who was working with a Mexican cartel. These are hardcore crooks, and we got to do something about this. 18,000 new applications every month come into the Medicare program, and we are now realizing that far too many of them are really uh, criminal element and fraudsters. How are you going to improve the vetting process? We're going to do that by making sure that these are legitimate businesses, by making sure that we go on site like you did. Budetti claims in the first year these new measures were put in place, 16,000 companies could not stand up to scrutiny. But officials admit that's only a start to rooting out all that fraud. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.